First of all, I guess uh, I didn't know a lot about organ donation. I guess when I obviously got my driver's license, I was able to uh, get the dot on the, the driver's license and that started out by doing a lot of uh, donating blood at our high school and I continued that. Uh, but the biggest impact obviously hit me in 1982 when my brother Jim uh, asked me if I would consider being a, a donor for a kidney. Uh, at that time, I didn't know a lot about organ donation, to tell you the truth. <laughs> uh, and uh, it was something that it wasn't just myself, but I have two other brothers and <laughs> Uh, they were also asked by Jim to consider doing that. And uh, so we, you know, started going through the process and everything. Uh, obviously, I, you know, talked it over with my wife where I had three, three kids under the age of five at that time. And uh, so we, you know, we talked about it, but uh, it was something that we felt that uh, uh, we needed to do, or at least go through the process to find out. Uh, Come, I think it was around April at that time, uh, I got the phone call from uh, uh, UW-Madison. That's where we were doing all our testing and everything. And they told me I was the best match. And, uh, uh, you know, they, of course, asked the question, do you still want to go through the process? And I, you know, looked at my wife and she was telling me all along I was going to be the match. So uh, we didn't have any problems there. And uh, so then we went, you know, went through the process of getting some extra, <clears throat> excuse me, extra testing at that time and uh, did that. Uh, I was working as a speech and language pathologist in the Kakana schools. Uh, they assured me at that time that uh, uh, we could probably do it over the summer, you know, if it was all going to go into place. And uh, I guess... That wasn't a factor for me, but obviously they were looking out for my profession as well. And uh, so did all the, did all that testing that I had and everything was going forward. Uh, uh, I thought it was kind of interesting. You you go you talk to a social worker, and I think it's their job to tell you all the bad things that are going to happen if you if things go wrong in that and. Uh, but I, I know I understand that's her job. And uh, uh, and of course, I answered all the questions that I understood all of that and was still willing to do that. And so came June 23rd, 1982, um, the donation took place. Uh, and that has just springboarded my enthusiasm to advocate for for organ and tissue donation, as well as uh, blood donation. I guess I want to <laughs> Put that plug in there too because i'm approaching 21 gallons and 600 units of platelets uh uh in my lifetime so i'm proud of that and um but i'm really proud about being able to advocate along with my brother jim and of course when well, you're looking at 1982 and now you're looking at uh, 2024 and and he's still in doing really well he's done a good job of of, uh, of making sure that he's been healthy and following all the things that he should be doing. And, and so it's been, it's been fun being able to advocate together and do things together. Uh, we've done uh, a few of the, uh, the transplant games in uh, the United States. And last April, just out of the blue, he asked me if I wanted to go to Australia with him to the world transplant games. And, uh, his wife couldn't go, so I said, "Sure, <laughs> I, I would go." And so it was, it was fun. I didn't compete there. I, I did compete in the, the U.S. world, but uh, it was too late to, to to compete in the World Transplant Games there. But it was, again, it, it was just neat being able to interact with with everybody who was kind of on the same page that you are. So, so I guess that kind of brings me to today. <laughs> Well, I think it's just opened up my eyes to just to, to advocate for it more. Like I said, back in 1982, I didn't really know anything about organ donation and that. And so it was a whole new chapter for me. And uh, 
uh, <clears throat> I think what's been kind of neat is that, you know, when I said I had three kids under the age of five, uh, they all understand all about organ donation and uh, they continue to support uh, advocating for organ donation as well. So. Well, I think it's it's another opportunity for me to be able to advocate in in another way. I know before you were kind of just doing it for uh, the recipients and that. And uh, I think my opportunity to be able to talk to people about living donation, uh, donor donation, I think is uh, I think it it's really neat to be able to do that. You know, I've had several talks with people that are considering it. You know in the past and that. So I don't really think it's going to be anything uh, uh, different for me, but uh, I, I think it's good to give a perspective of what it's like to give some people an opportunity of hope. Uh, I can't, and I'm, I'm up front with people. I can't tell you that that kidney that you donate is going to live for 42 years. I understand that we're kind of beating the odds there. Uh, but with, you know, modern science and things uh, that are taking place, I think you're going to see more and more of that. And so I just want to give them a little hope, you know, to be able to consider that. And especially with with relatives, because I know there's a lot of people that are doing it from, um, you know, from a relative to a relative. But, uh, you know, with the with the advent of having so much living donation of of, of people that aren't related, uh, I, I just want to be able to tell the story that here I am 42 years later, and uh, uh, this is something that you can do, and uh, uh, your life will move on.